Hello there, Professor Bright here, and we are at Abbey Rock, and we are leaving. We are headed for Fallen London, because we have strategic intelligence, our hull is below half, so I want to get that fixed, and I think the only place to do that is probably Fallen London. If we find Palmerstone, or Mount Palmerstone, by the time we get there, great. If we don't, not going to cry over it. And this looks like a promising little island. Uh, Depot A. Hello, Depot. Oh, you're Station 3. Okay, I am going to dock with you as well. And I found Western Gren's Fire. Yay. Sounds like fun. And Wolf's Rift. Okay, presumably Palmerstone is somewhere in this place. But uh, first, Depot A. You may infer a Station 1 and a Station 2, we may conjecture a Station 4, which we know was the Salt Lions that we saw before. The machinery hums behind high steel walls. Up the hill there are visible outlines of warehouses and a building with a spire. But the lamps are low where they burn at all, and your ship is the only one in the harbor. Hmm. Get a port report. Train your telescope on shore. Might be best to get a look from a distance. Church or something else? You stand on the high point of your ship and look to shore. There is a steepled building on the horizon, by far the largest thing in sight. No cross marks the top of it, nor any other symbol you recognize. Could always search for other visitors. Let's see what I'm up against. Hmm. Never hurts to know what you're up against. You walk the quays, looking for any little sign that might show what sort of ships dock here and what they deliver, but you find nothing conclusive, not even so much as a smear of pitch or a damp footprint. If any ship but yours has been tied up here in recent days, it has left no evidence. That's all for now. Oh, we failed in the challenge. Hmm. All right. I'll have to try that again some other time. The only way past the wall is... An impo unimposing but sturdy looking gate of triple barred silvery metal. The sign beside it reads Deliveries. Locked with no more than zero. Okay, so I need a Sooth and Cooper long box. Actually, oh, it's a delivery. Yeah. The metal is steel hard and icy cold to the touch. Attempts with chisels and crowbars fail. Perhaps if you could bring the ship's guns to bear. But no. Yeah, let's not do that? That seems like a terrible plan. This, I mean, I assume this is, uh, it says Station 3, so I guess it must be part of Fallen London's Admiralty? I would think. Well, perhaps not. And go. Launching. Okay. We did discover a few places. Uh, Wolf's Rift is just this gigantic chasm that I don't feel comfortable being over. Oh. Looks like the little crab wants to pick a fight. I really don't want to fight you, but, you, well, you know what. You're only worth one fragment, but I'll take it. Oh, pff, two damage. Big deal. Big deal. Butcher it for supplies. The crew will feast. That glowing fresh is that glowing fresh is unstable. Specimen's flesh. It crisps and withers as the glow fades. So eat while it's fresh. Huh. Oh, just lost the hunger. Not didn't give me supplies. Just got rid of hunger. Okay. We're gonna do a southwesterly approach. Just because if I can find Mount Palmerstone, so much the better. But uh, I'm not going to exactly lose sleep if I don't. There's Guider's Morn. Which I think is actually technically just west of... Uh, oh, hello. Some sort of beetle has invaded your morsel of ship's biscuit. It waggles its antennae impertinently. Uh-huh. 
Beetles and the Biscuits. Hmm. I think we need a quartermaster of some kind. And this is just Guider's Morn, which we've been here. We've been here before. Nothing to worry about. Just head west. Ignore any pirates, because we don't want to get shot at. Unless, of course, they're those little tiny uh, pinnaces, because, you know, those you just take two shots and they're done. I forgot to do the all clear there, but uh, I, I remembered it eventually. A breath of change passes. Mm -hmm. Oh, beautiful. We're near Rowan as rocks, which means in just a few moments, we should be back at London. Then we can sell our stuff and be on our merry way. Well, repair the ship and then be on our merry way. Okay. There's London. Let's get inside. Now oh, I had to take a little more food, didn't you guys? Okay, not the worst. Not the worst. 15 supplies, 15 fuel. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay. And we are docked. Alright. Let's collect messages. A blind bruiser would like a word. See, I knew he was going to want something. Ugh. Let's see here. Good evening, citizen. And what a marvelous e evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. And given it is my impression that you are an obli obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo if you happen to be in the area. The cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Hmm. Well, I have to go there anyway. I'm smuggling souls from London. Okay. If you would be so kind as to deliver this little gift to our friends in Mount Palmerston, then they will see we get to hear about it. And when you come back, we'll cover your expenses. Bomb of voyage, as my aunt, who was French by birth and not by inclination, used to s like to say. Hmm, I agreed to smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. I did no such thing. I just agreed to deliver something and not look at what it was. That might have been a bad choice. Well... Hello, you're new. The Merchant Venturer. An urchin tugs your sleeve. Governor wants a word. A brooding figure waits at the lamplight's edge. Hmm, I'll talk to him. I have need of a reliable agent, failing that an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates. And he won't ask how you came by these things. Very good. Let's see what his requests are. Something savage. I imagine you'll have to, uh, hunt things. 500 echoes for 7 hunting trophies. For 7 skintalac. Port Cecil and the Principles of Coral. It's usually, it's usually northeast, or thereabout. Around 1,000 echoes. Oof. Okay. Let's aim to get there. And then we'll pass on our strategic information. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. All right, same as before. Got 150 echoes. You know, I would like assistance with subsistence. Visit the fuel stores. Oh, it's like a challenge? 
Okay. 75 echoes. We do a fair job for a decent price. And uh, not a fan of uh, cutting corners. CNH though, slightly higher price. Oh, interesting. I could save money by turning in favors. Hmm. I do value my money. Lost 24 echoes and three flavor. Bleh. Three favors. Didn't lose flavors. And all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well very quickly. Hull is now 75, which was our complete, you know, full hull. Wonderful. And this time I am going to get that. Oh, hello. Well, aft. Never mind. I am going to get that upgraded deck gun. And before I even worry about it, switch. And I should be able to sell the old one, right? Uh, I could sell torpedo components, but someday I'm going to have one, so best keep it for then. And what? I buy two? No. I guess I can just... Yeah, that's just going to... It would let me sell my only gun? Oh, cool. I can rename my ship. Interesting. The, um, HMS Beagle. Yeah, Darwin's ship. We'll explore. I like it. And where was I? I visit the tattoo parlor. Okay. You're a real zailer, after all. You could go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks, but the prices at Clathermounts are reasonable. Reasonable. And his daughters are real artists. What sign will we choose? Hmm. Increase. Well, the options we actually have are the unflinching, unflinching eye. Which is kind of tempting. Oh, visions of the surface can get me the splendor. The dauntless hand, which gives me more irons, which means more damage. Hmm. Hmm. We'll go with the eye. Only lost one echo. Oh my! An occurrence. Your memoirs, your own sweet skin quality is now the unflinching eye. Gained two mirrors and lost eight terror, but oh my! Ah, uh, oh shoot. Didn't read that. Um, well, sorry about that. Let's see. Nothing we can do at the university. Can we do anything at home? Um, oh, I can upgrade eventually. Right, I will eventually. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so if I get to 1,000 Echoes by the house, I can consider retirement. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll read the paper. Get us our supplies. Perhaps not. We're not going to stick around there. I went to the... Oh, right, we did lose that crew member. 30 echoes to buy one. Ugh. Let's see who's waiting our attention. A Carnelian Exile. Hmm. Hmm. This one's for five echoes. Interesting. Carnelian Exile. Increases mirrors and pages. The tireless mechanic. Hmm. An engineer. Well, I already have an engineer, but I don't have a first officer. So I think I'm going to go with you then. Two officers. First officer, Carnelian Exile. Six mirrors, three pages. 
soft-spoken and a little mystical. Okay, let's talk with her. Invite. This officer's story will open on Thursday, 23rd of February. Oh, like as in real time. Okay, well, this dated that. Dated this one. Um, could use secrets, of which I have two. I thought I couldn't do anything with the uh, scholar here. Oh, she just won't take my, uh, my secrets anymore. Oh, well. Um, oh, speak to her. Yes, I'll increase those mirrors. She says little, but each word is placed like a pin in a map. And I keep going to the shops. I want a shop. I want to buy things. Let's speak to him. Actually, no, we'll speak to you. We can get pages higher, which again will increase our secret gaining. He likes to sit very close when he speaks, the plausible surgeon. He speaks familiarly of diseases and hauntings, as if he knew their first names, but chose not to disclose them out of courtesy and discretion. This makes some of his advice confusing, but you do learn intriguing details. Okay. I wonder if he has a story for us. Well, we'll see. We shall see. 